In this video, we will explore the world of trading and forex, discussing some effective strategies, tools, and indicators to help you make profitable trades. Our focus will be on the Quotex trading strategy and the ADX indicator, both of which are excellent tools to help you identify and take advantage of market trends. But before that, I want to introduce you to our backtesting service, as it makes it very easy and saves you time when backtesting your strategy. Thousands of traders are using Trader Edge to get an edge on their competition. It also has a lot of features that would definitely take you one step ahead of your trading career, just like the position calculator that serves as a great tool for risk management. Are you not sure how to backtest? No worries, you'll also get a full step-by-step backtesting plan which has a $100 value. Not sure how to build a profitable trading strategy? No worries, you'll also get a full course on how to build a profitable mechanical trading strategy which has a $270 value. And if you sign up right now, they'll even throw in four pre-made high-quality strategies that have a $100 value. That's $470 worth of bonuses all for free. But only if you sign up right now. Trader Edge has a 7-day free trial so there's absolutely no risk. Click the link in the description below. We'll also take a look at the TradingView ADX indicator and how it can be used in your trading strategy. Technical analysis tools such as moving averages, chandelier stop, and extreme trend reversal points will be discussed, as well as the ADX indicator for intraday trading. In addition, we'll talk about how to identify sideways market indicators and the DMI indicator, which can be useful in identifying market momentum. We'll also delve into the ADX indicator strategy for Forex and the ADX scalping strategy. We'll cover momentum trading, day trading indicators, and the ADX indicator trading strategy. You'll learn about the directional index, bullish and bearish trends, and trend reversal indicators. Our goal is to help you develop a profitable trading strategy. Okay traders, for today's strategy, I'll be showing you a very powerful ADX indicator trading strategy with a very unique setting. Let us quickly add the ADX indicator to the chart. Simply bring up the indicator panel. I want you to search for the ADX and DI. This one right here by Baikabu Yaji. This ADX indicator is a really very powerful tool to make money in the market as it measures the directional index movement of price while also calculating the momentum present in the market. The ADX also has two directional indicators known as plus DI and minus DI which help traders identify the direction of the trend. When we have read above the green, it shows we are in a bearish trend. And when the green is above the red, it shows that we are in a bullish trend. But for this strategy, we won't be making use of the directional index as our main focus is on the ADX indicator. So let's get rid of the directional index. When you bring up its settings panel, on the style, uncheck the DI plus and DI minus. Now we are left with just the ADX indicator. The ADX indicator ranges between 0 and 100, with a reading above 25 indicating a strong trend and a reading below 20 indicating a weak trend. Traders often use the ADX indicator in conjunction with other technical analysis tools to make trading decisions. When the ADX line rises, it indicates that the market is trending, and when it falls, it indicates a lack of trend. Overall, the ADX indicator is a useful tool for traders to identify the strength of trends and make informed trading decisions. Now to profit from this powerful ADX indicator, watch closely as we apply unique settings to better improve your chances of catching high winning super trends. Let's first of all adjust the settings to be applied on the indicator. I want you to click on these three dots to show more settings on the ADX indicator. Now, click on the option that says, Add Indicator Slash Strategy on the ADX and DI. When it brings up the Indicators, Metrics and Strategies panel, I want you to search for the moving average. Add this one made by TradingView to the chart. Now we can notice that it has been attached to the ADX indicator. To finalize our settings, double click on the ADX indicator. On the input, change the length to 21. Also change the threshold to 30. Move over to the style, I want you to uncheck the ADX. 
Change the level to a brighter white, while also changing it to a line. Then lastly, change these values to 30 as well. Click on the OK button when you're done. Also double click on the moving average attached to the ADX indicator. On the input, I want you to change the length to 100. Now this is very important. When you attach the moving average onto the ADX indicator, its default source would be on the directional index. So make sure it is attached to the ADX by selecting this option. And we are fully ready with our indicators, as the moving average now works just like the ADX, but this time, it gives more valid data on the momentum of the market. There is a lot you can achieve with these settings, as there are a lot of strategies to create with this ADX indicator. But one which I found very profitable is this, as it achieved a high profit win rate under 4 months. This strategy made $682, which is 68.2% of our initial capital. And this profit was made in under 4 months. The 100 backtested result maintained a 42% win rate, having won 42 trades and lost 58 trades. But note that all profits made were not fully 4 is to 1, as some trades were closed due to some conditions. This ADX indicator strategy is really profitable. This approach to trading requires focus and patience. As if you look at the profit factor, we can see we had six consecutive losses against four consecutive wins. Probably you might have stopped trading for some traders who might have made four consecutive losses when trading live. This strategy is meant for traders who know how to minimize loss and manage risk. Because if you look at the chart, without these consecutive wins that occur once in a while, you would probably notice a slow growth rate using this strategy. But overall, it's still profitable. So are you ready to find out what strategy it is and how we combine indicators to get this trading strategy? Let's move on. First, let's add other indicators to the chart to better profit in combination with our ADX indicator. For the first indicator, search for the chandelier stop by Pip Charlie. And for the second indicator, search for the extreme trend reversal points. This one right here by he who must not be named. When both indicators have been added to the chart, double click on the extreme trend reversal. On the style, uncheck the moving average. Then click on the OK button. And we fully done with the indicator application and settings for this ADX indicator strategy. For this strategy, we would take reversal trades at points where we have low trending momentum. That is to say, we take trades when our ADX indicator is below the 30 threshold line, while the trend reversal indicator gives the signal and the chandelier confirms our point of entry. Please avoid signals when the ADX indicator is above the 30 threshold line. Now to better understand how this strategy works, we take a buy trade when the ADX indicator is below the 30 threshold line. Then, we would have to wait for a green arrow reversal label while the chandelier is still on purple. This indicates the trend is on a bearish move as our extreme trend reversal signal has its reversal readings correct. Please avoid trades that occur when the reversal label corresponds with the chandelier exit. We mean avoiding a buy signal when the reversal is shown while the chandelier is on mint green, as well as avoiding the red signal for a sell trade when the chandelier is on purple. When we have this, we then wait for our chandelier stop indicator to change to mint green. And we, we finally achieve that, it's time to profit from the market. We set a stop loss at the recent swing low. And for taking profits, we set it at four times what we risked in the market. And we see it was successful. Please note that when all conditions are met, and we have an open trade present, If we happen to see a new opposite reversal signal, we tend to close our trade and move on with the little profit or loss made. Also avoid overtrading. 
as we only open trade once, not until the end of our open position, before we tend to enter another trade, as this method helps protect our account from multiple trend reversal signals. This is important as well. When we have a new signal while the ADX indicator is still below the 30 threshold line, as well as having our chandelier on the needed condition. While waiting to enter the trade, and we happen to see the ADX cross above the 30 threshold line, we avoid waiting on entry, as the trade tends to be invalid. Please if you are not ready to take losses as part of this ADX indicator strategy, avoid using it. As most, you open trades that close quickly from its point of entry. Exactly the opposite is true for sell trades. We would first identify the position of our ADX indicator, as we will want to make sure it is below the 30 threshold line. Then we wait on our next reversal trend label signal to be read, while also having the chandelier on mint green. Lastly, we open trades when the chandelier stop changes to purple. Stop loss at the recent swing high. And for taking profit, we aim at four times what we risked in the market. And we see it was successful. Then the last but not the least, this ADX indicator strategy works best on major pairs, but note that the risk to reward ratio won't be the same for all the pairs. Make sure to do the proper back testing and forward testing before applying this to a live chart. Now that's it for today's video trader. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.